the tsunami hit Tonga after the eruption of an underwater volcano. Streets and buildings on the country's main island in the Pacific Ocean are flooded after the latest volcanic eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai people were forced to leave their homes, and streets and buildings were flooded when tsunami waves hit the main island of Tonga, Tonga Tapu, after the explosion of a huge underwater volcano. A tsunami warning was in effect for Hawaii, Alaska, the U.S. Pacific Coast and Japan, with reports of waves tossing boats into docks in Hawaii. The Japan Meteorological Agency said that tsunami also reached that country's Pacific coast, with possible waves up to 3 meters high. The agency said a 2-meter wave reached the remote southern island of Amamioshima, while smaller waves were observed in other areas along the Pacific coast of Japan. In Hawaii, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center reported waves ranging in height from half a meter in Navaliwile, Kauai to 80 centimeters in Hanalei. We are pleased that there are no reports of damage on the islands and there are only minor floods, the center said in a statement. In Tonga, which has a population of about 105,000, a video posted on social media shows large waves washing ashore in coastal areas, swirling around houses and buildings, including a church. The Australian Bureau of Meteorology said a two-meter height tsunami, located about 65 kilometers north of Tonga's capital, Nukuulofa, generated a two-meter height tsunami. The eruption, captured in satellite imagery showing a huge plume of ash, steam and gas rising from the ocean, was heard and felt as far away as Fiji and Vanuatu, where people reported feeling ground and buildings shaking for hours. There were no immediate reports of injuries or the extent of damage in Tonga, but online video showed huge waves in coastal areas swirling around houses and buildings. The main island of Tonga is reported to have lost communications and power, and the government has called in military reserves to assist in the aftermath of a natural disaster. A convoy of police and military evacuated King Tupo from his palace off the coast, and a local news site reported long lanes as thousands tried to reach the high ground on the main island. A project coordinator working with Tonga's parliament said the explosion caused ash and tiny pebbles to fall, and darkness covered the sky. Tsunami waves as high as three feet were observed by sensors in the capital of Tonga, and waves as high as two feet were observed in Pago Pago, the capital of American Samoa, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said. The Fijian government has issued a tsunami warning telling people in the country's coastal areas to move to higher ground due to larger than normal waves. There were reports that some Fijian villages were flooded and families were evacuated. In Japan Hawaii, Alaska and along the U.S. Pacific coast, residents have been asked to move off the coastline to higher ground and follow specific local emergency management instructions. Beaches and piers across Southern California have been closed as a precaution, but the National Weather Service tweeted that there was no significant flooding concern. Strong rip currents are possible, however, and authorities have warned people to stay out of the water. Residents of American Samoa were warned of the tsunami by local broadcasters as well as church bells throughout the area. The outside siren was on. Those who lived along the coastline quickly moved to higher ground. Heisei Tuasinio, a TV journalist, tweeted a video showing big waves coming ashore as people try to escape the oncoming waves in their cars. It's literally dark in parts of Tonga and people are rushing to safety after the eruption, he said. New Zealand's emergency management agency issued a tsunami bulletin for its northern and eastern coasts, saying strong and unusual currents and unpredictable waves onshore are expected in these areas. On Friday, the volcano spewed ash, steam and gas into the air up to 20 kilometers in a radius of 260 kilometers, the Geological Survey of Tonga said in a statement. The number of natural disasters has doubled since 2000. UN experts have come to the conclusion that the main reason for this is climate change. 
climate change is the main reason for the doubling of the number of natural disasters since 2000, according to a report by the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction, released in Geneva on the occasion of the International Day for Disaster Reduction. From 2000 to 2019, the UN Office recorded 7,348 major natural disasters around the world, almost double the number from 1980 to 1999. Almost 3,000 disasters occurred in Asia, 1,800 in the Americas and about 1,000 in Africa. The number of earthquakes, tsunamis and catastrophes caused mainly by climate change has increased significantly, from 3,600 to almost 6,600. The extreme heat waves alone have killed 165,000 people. In total, 4.2 billion people were affected by natural disasters. 1 billion more than in the previous 20 years. Economic damage from disasters has reached $3 trillion. The authors of the report note that the real damage is obviously much higher, since many countries, especially in Asia and Africa, do not publish data on the economic consequences of natural disasters. We are destroying, knowing full well what we are doing. This is the only conclusion that can be drawn by analyzing the catastrophes of the last 20 years, said Mami Mitsutori, head of the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction. She urged governments to make stronger efforts to prevent climate risks. It is very important to listen to scientific knowledge and warnings and, accordingly, invest in prevention, adaptation to climate change and preparation for natural disasters, Mitsutori emphasized.